again and welcome to another exciting edition of Poet the Poet. I'm Robert Dunn and we are number one. And we have a couple of number one guests uh, with us today in our garden party edition. And they are Paul DeCoster, who is a singer, songwriter, and uh, poet philosopher, and all kinds of things. And Connie Goodman, who is a uh, actress, poet, voiceover artist, CPR instructor. If there's anything she doesn't do, that's legal anyway, I can't imagine <laughs> what it is. So it's gonna be a wonderful show. In our garden party, they get the flowers, I get the weeds, which is kind of uh, what I deserve, I suppose, but um, I don't have to take that from anybody. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into our first guest, which is uh, Paul DeCoster. He's a, a say, singer, songwriter, musician, etc., etc. Lives in Manhattan, naturally. He first took up the guitar at age 11 in summer camp. He built his first guitar himself in the woodworking shop, I believe. Uh, yeah, or, or, did, right. or did termites carve it out for you? Uh, unfortunately, the termites got to it, so I don't have it. Uh -huh. Well, after, after he got rid of the termites, he uh, started studying it in earnest and gravitated towards classical guitar. And um, he's done a lot of interesting people uh, had teaching him, like whom, for example? Um, uh, well, the first major teacher I had was a guy named Andrei Menshikov out of College of Worcester. He, um, mm -hmm. studied, he studied under Andrei Segovi and Julian Bream, of all people. Uh -huh. And um, uh, one of his best friends is David Russell, who, if you ever get a chance to see him in concert, is absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about this Russian novelist who plays the, uh, Gogol was his name? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. The guy, I think you mean this fellow right yes. here, Nicholas Galusis is the second guy you taught me. He also uh -huh. was involved with Segovia. Yeah. And, um, Where was uh, this? Over at Manhattan School of Music. Oh, what about the Eastman School of Music in Rochester? He's teaching there now. Oh, he's he teaching there now. Teach Manhattan School of Music. See, the thing about the Eastman School in Rochester is they teach you how to take photographs with a guitar. <laughs> While playing the guitar at the same time and taking photographs. Right. I, I, I'd be very interested to see where you load the film <laughs> on that guitar. That's going to be... Uh, and you play a couple of uh, interesting styles, with, uh, such as salsa, jazz, and uh, didgeridoo. I always thought the didgeridoo was a wind instrument. Well, it is in a sense. Basically, it's sort of like a long instrument. It comes from the aboriginals in Australia. And what you do is you sort of blow into it. Mm -hmm. And it's like got a very deep mm -hmm. bass sound and stuff like that. It's not very well known here in the States. Of course, like in the UK and Australia, they know it. Possibly because it sounds like a head cold. <laughs> very, very <laughs> bad head cold. Well, yeah. nothing around here is bad. Tell you what, why don't we get into a song? Okay. Absolutely. So, ready your weapon. You got it. Uh -huh. The first song I'm going to do is basically, um, it's a song about relationships, which I wrote. And... Um, it's basically dealing with somebody who's trying to give an advice to a very young man and a very young lady about getting involved in a serious level. It's called Responsibility. Something like this. sure you're strong cause girls like guys who can't protect now every now and then she might complain but it won't happen often if you have half a brain Things he ought to handle on his own 
But please console him when he's down on himself He's gonna tell you things he'll tell no one else You are his angel so you've got to play savior Give him a doggy treat when he's on his best behavior Responsibility is what you need man Responsibility Before you know it, it leads to fascination You finally meet and it's still manifestation Now comes the tricky part, dedication Give him a dog biscuit? Yeah. A doggy treat? <laughs> Any woman try tries that on me had better be smiling when she does it. <laughs> she Other, probably will. <laughs> um, otherwise, we'll all end up in the doghouse. <laughs> Quite a remarkable performance there. What prompted you to write this one? Well, it's kind of funny. I think um, I've sort of, well, I mean, this is kind of like a confession, really. I've been through a few relationships which have warranted such um, uh, warnings. Because I feel, especially when two people are getting married or something like that, I think there's so, sort of like butterflies in the stomach, so to speak. So uh -huh. they really, um, so you have like the, the fathers on one side advising their daughters and the fathers and mothers on the other side advising the son and the whole bit. And it's just like there's so much pressure going on that... <laughs> you get butterflies between the ears, too. Indeed. <laughs> All right, let's slip in another song okay. while we got the time. Right. I hear, I hear, I hear sirens coming because, uh, you know how it is with these garden parties. The neighbors start looking over the fence and they wonder just what in the name of heck is going on out here. And uh, the nerve to do it in public too. Yeah, in public. I mean, we have all this foliage around us. I figured it would have been enough cover, but <laughs> sometimes not. Uh oh, there go the cops again. Hi guys. <laughs> it's okay. I've done this before. <laughs> We are trained professionals. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the note that I wanted. Okay. Oh, make a note of that, please. That's right. Let's talk about the lost chord. <laughs> um, this is um, a song which I wrote two years ago. It's called Like We Do, and it's um, basically about a new kid on the block who sort of like gets a little lecture from some of the old timers. This is um, uh -huh. it goes like this. <laughs> Cover your ears, let silence gently hum, and you won't hear the noise. 
that we do drive a car enjoy the scenery and you won't have to walk like we do Cover your mouth, be careful what you say, and you won't curse and run like we do. Jump into the abyss, you won't be missed. You never had as much fun as we do. Yes, put that down for a moment, it might go off. I get nervous when you point it at me. I'm one, sorry. one, no, that's okay. One final, it's part of the risk of doing a TV show. One final point, what is the most important thing that you can suggest to someone who's just picking up the guitar for the first time? Well, I think basically what it takes, it's sort of like a martial art. You gradually have to learn the motions and sort of like get it down in your head to the point where it's almost like a mental game. Mm. All of the motions that you do with your guitar, it's almost like walking, it's almost like talking. Sometimes uh -huh. even like thinking, it's just like a mental process which you just gradually have to um, uh, transport in your mind, just so that eventually uh -huh. gets processed through. I know I'm sounding very mystic and I'm moving my hands a lot when I do it. I can't hope <laughs> that's to make a guitar That's player. okay. That's okay. This is video. <laughs> a martial art. Peter Shickley once spoke of a pianist he knew who came from Hong Kong and had a black belt in piano. <laughs> and on that happy note. Paul DeCosta, I want to thank you thank for you so coming much. on to Poet the Poet, and we'll be right back with Connie Goodman. Yes.